For the majority of us, when we get to Coffee Creek, it is extremely shocking and depressing. I was in a very, very dark place. I had come from an abusive relationship and was very depressed when I first got to the facility. When I started seeing the dogs around the facility, it was like seeing a ray of hope, a ray of light, knowing that I needed to be a part of that for my healing and to be a part of something bigger. At Coffee Creek Correctional Facility, we have a puppy program where female inmates raise puppies for canine companions for independence. They teach the dogs how to interact with each other and learn their basic 30 commands, and then they go on down to Santa Rosa for professional training. It is a really difficult program to get into. You have to have perfect conduct and be a contributing member of the community there at Coffee Creek. And I got Sonic, and to have interaction with a baby, whether it's a furry baby or a non-furry baby, brings out so much love and, and light and hope. A puppy kiss is one of those things that's pretty priceless and it just melts your heart and it makes you feel like everything's gonna be okay. Working with the dogs and working with Sonic and the other women gave me a lot of confidence back, especially after being in an abusive relationship when your voice has been taken away. I gained more confidence in myself. You have to learn to gain respect from the dogs so they'll listen to you. We learn patience. And all of that was just a recipe for healing. People have asked, isn't it hard to get a puppy and let it go? And knowing that you're training these dogs to go out and help someone, you put your heart and soul into it. You want them to be the strongest dog, the most independent dog, so that they can help someone and pass on that independence. I knew from his wiggly little butt and how loving he was that he was going to go to to a child. Morgan is an amazing kid and she also has autism. We've wanted to give her that independence and have that buddy to be with her and give her that strength to go out and be in the world. So we went down this crazy journey and it has been the best decision we've made in our life. Sonic is my best friend, and he stays with me almost every single minute of every single day. The lab command is one of his favorite ones. He's actually providing the deep pressure on her, which helps calm her sensory output down. In a shutdown phase where she's like not able to talk, talk or something, she'll kind of shut down on herself. And so she, for some reason, can still talk to Sonic. So she'll say, Sonic, get, and he'll pick up her pencil if she drops it. We've gotten to the point where she had no friends. She didn't want to go to school. She didn't want to do anything. She just wanted to hide in her own little safety nest at home. So with Sonic by her side, it's given her a little bit more of a drive, a little bit more of a focus. Since Sonic came into my life, I've had all these different dreams that I wanted to do. I want to be a forensic scientist when I grow up and go wherever that leads me. One of the things that I think is really amazing is that none of the female inmates involved with the Coffee Creek Puppy Program have re-entered the prison system here in Oregon since it opened in 2001. 
Since leaving Coffee Creek, life has been good. It's been a hard transition. I am blessed to be free and with my family. Meeting the Nutter family and getting to see Morgan and just hearing about how much Sonic had impacted her life. Everything feels right. I know that he has found his new partner in life and he is giving her his all.